Here they come. They're off. There goes Mini Me out for that lead. Also trying to leave Royal Majesty. Peruvian Hanover gets away in third. That's Cheyenne Ray racing fourth. Then it's Ashley's big guy and four star shark is the early trailer as they move around the first turn. Mini Me gets that lead. It's Mini Me a length and a half. Royal Majesty got in there second, followed by Peruvian Hanover third. Two back to Cheyenne Ray in fourth. The trailers as they move up the back stretch are Ashley's big guy and four star shark is at the end as they go toward the far turn. Mini Me is there in 27 flat. 27 flat for Minnie Me, who's got a length and a half lead. Sitting in second, Royal Majesty. Peruvian Hanover got away in third, followed by Cheyenne Ray. Then comes Ashley's big guy. And four stars, Shark trails the field as they move around that turn. It's Minnie Me on top. Royal Majesty got in there in second, followed by Peruvian Hanover, who's third. Then comes Cheyenne Ray. Fourth, the half was 56 and three fifths as they move by the stands now. Up front, Mini Me in control, length and a half. Royal Majesty and Luke there in second, followed by Peruvian Hanover. Two back. It's Cheyenne Ray who's ready to move to the outside. That may get out Peruvian Hanover, and it does as they go into the clubhouse turn. Up front, Mini Me has that lead. Royal Majesty, here's Peruvian Hanover up on the outside, followed by Cheyenne Ray. Third over, that's four star Shark. Ashley's big guy trails along the inside. 124 and three fifths. They're hitting the back stretch, and from the outside, Peruvian Hanover went right up and got the lead. Here's Cheyenne Ray now up on the outside into second, dropping back Mini Me alongside his four star Shark. Then comes Ashy's big guy getting shuffled is Royal Majesty, and they go into the final turn now, battling there. Cheyenne ran the outside with Peruvian Hanover. Second over, four star Shark trapped inside is Mini Me now. They move past the mile marker in 153 and three fifths. They're coming toward the top of the stretch. And from the outside, Cheyenne Ray. Peruvian Hanover still battling. Here's a three wide move coming from four star Shark. And they're at the top of the stretch. And Cheyenne Ray's got the lead. Cheyenne Ray, four star Shark coming on the outside. Here's Ashley's big guy and Royal Majesty. Here's the wire. Ashley's big guy. A shocker, 224 and one. Entering the winner's circle, number four, Ashley's Big Guy, four-year-old bay horse by Life Sign. Owned by the Crystal Ball Stable, Tom Dillon and Walter Height. Trained by Steve LeBlanc. That's number four tonight for Steve LeBlanc. Driven to victory by local driver Brad Henners, 224 and one-fifth. In the winner's circle, along with Marv Bachrod, our publicity director, making a blanket presentation. Will be Charles Lockhart, Vice President of Horse Racing here at Dover Downs, also a director of the Classic Series, along with Nick Salvi, Executive Director of the Classic Series, and also in that winner's circle, Dr. Glenn Brown, President of the Classic Series. Now let's get down to the winner's circle area. Marv Bacharad with the Red Hot Steve LeBlanc and driver Brad Henners. Thank you very much, Jack Gallagher. And, well, I'd say it was going to be a real windy day when Brad Henners wins the Classic, and he certainly did it today. Yeah, Steve had the horse very well prepared, and uh, we got a great trip and uh, got the job done. Now, where were you sitting there as you turned for home? What were your feelings? Uh, third over, and it was pretty windy down the backside, and I thought we might have a little chance coming off the turn, and he dug in and raced well. This has got to be a great thrill for you, biggest win ever. You won a, a heat of a little brown jug, but uh, I'm sure he doesn't compare to this. Yeah, this is one of my biggest wins. I really appreciate getting the drive from Steve and the owners. Thank you very much. That's Brad Hanners, winning driver, and Steve LeBlanc, a big night for you. What a way to cap it off. Yeah, this is a great way to cap it. I would have never dreamt this would have happened in this race. Uh, we would have been happy with a fifth, really, tonight. Uh, these are great horses in here, but uh, sometimes you get the right trip and things work out. Oh, the wind and everything else that happened here and the way that they battled up front certainly set it up. It sure did. You know, this horse, he he's had a rough year all year, but he, he has shown he could go with these horses before and with the right trip, and it worked out tonight. I'm sure the owners are very happy about this moment. Uh, the, I guarantee you they are. They're uh, not here tonight, but I'd like to say hello to everybody. Thanks. 
Thank you very much, Steve LeBlanc. He's the trainer, Ashley's big guy, the winner of the Pacing Classic, which is our final of the four championship races. And for just a moment, I'd like Nick Salvi to come in here and along with Dr. J. Glenn Brown. Nick Salvi is the executive director and Dr. Brown is the president of the Classic Series. And what a wind up. We had a little bit of everything today. It worked out great, Marvin. We appreciate Dover, the Meadowlands, and the WEG being the host. You did a great job this evening. Eternal Cam Nation lived up to the advanced billing, and the other horses are champions as well. That's for sure. The most horses in the history of the event, 120, you nominated, and Dr. Brown, that goes to show you this series is around to stay. It certainly is, and we're, we're planning improvements and bigger things for next year uh, for this series, and I think... Uh, I can't get over the performance of Eternal Cam Nation tonight. The other horses were all great uh, to win, but she was just outstanding. Well, of course, the Classic Series has really uh, come uh, come on strongly, and a uh, gentleman such as Nick Salvi, a former trainer, he used to train at uh, Brandywine and the Meadows and other tracks, and Dr. Brown uh, is the owner of a winner of the Little Brown Chuck, Fan Hanover, one of the great fillies of all time. So horsemen certainly have been very prominent in the Classic Series. Thank you, gentlemen, for being